Hey guys, what is up? It is Dominic. And in this video, we're going to be talking about prospecting for AI SaaS clients. Obviously I've made videos in the past about prospecting for regular clients, but this one specifically is going to be based off of the AI employee that Go High Level has put out. And I think you're seeing it blowing up on social media. You know that this trend is going to take over, especially in local business. So let's get into it. Let's figure out exactly what you should do if you're trying to get clients and specifically AI employee. So as most of you have probably noticed, there is a prospecting section over here to the far left and you may have used it. You may have not, but in this video, I'm going to use it a little bit, even though it is not specifically how I prospect. I'm going to show you exactly how I prospect later, but for right now, let's play around with it. Let's check out the prospecting tool. I know that Go High Level has added a lot to it. They even have a premium plan right here where you can pay $29 per month and get all of these amazing different things. The local SEO analysis, website performance, lead capturing widget. So if you guys want to test that out or you want me to test it out and make a video on it, comment below and I will totally do it. But for right now, we're just going to try the free features over here to the left and see if this thing can actually help us with our prospect for go high level so let's click on get started for free so the first thing you're going to see is a giant map i believe they always start in new york as the standard and it tells you right up here in the search bar to type in beauty salon near me fitness centers near me car dealerships near me so you can just type in kind of whatever you're looking for and we'll go from there because i'm personally in the landscaping niche i am going to search for landscapers near me and see what comes up now i must point out that i am not in springfield illinois right now which is where i film most of my videos i recently bought a house in scottsdale arizona so it is going to be completely different when prospecting in Scottsdale or Phoenix area compared to Springfield, Illinois. I'm going to have way more options and a lot more competitiveness in the Scottsdale and Phoenix area because of the population. But this could be a fun example, so let's check it out. We've got Phoenix Landscapers. We've got Ground Zero Landscape, Diamond Stone, Lone Star Landscaping, and we're probably going to have a very, very long list. So the first thing that I want to point out when prospecting is that if they have five-star ratings at a 4.9 average, I mean, these guys probably don't need a lot of help. Maybe someone with 18 ratings might need a little bit of help, but I think we can even do better. Let's click next again. George's landscape only has two ratings. So let's start with George. So as you can see, right when you click the link, it shows his business name, his business phone number, his entire address, and the landscaping website that he's using. You can also click down here. Do you have a point of contact at this business? I clearly do not. I don't know who this is. So I'm going to click on generate prospect at the bottom right. On the top right, it says this prospect isn't saved to your contacts yet. To unlock powerful automation, switch to a sub account, and then you can automatically save new prospects to your CRM, send the audit report via email or SMS, which is very powerful and you can trigger workflows and nurture sequences and more so I get what's kind of happening here as a whole they want you to use the prospecting tool to then add it to the automation tool inside of a sub account and kind of create an entire automation process for your prospecting I personally don't know how well this would work and you definitely would need to be A2P approved and your email would have to be perfectly function not going into spam folder there's a lot of different moving parts it's not as easy as they make it seem on go high level I like to have a more personal touch when I reach out to a prospect and I'll show you guys exactly what I do in a second but for right now let's just just keep on going and see how it does. As you can see, we're at 67%. So it does take a little bit of time, but I'm going to skip this part in the edit. So you guys should be good. All right, guys. So now that the report is completely done, we can see everything that we need to see. An overall score over here of 40% that is in the red. It looks like these guys can definitely use our help. We can also export the PDF over here to the far right. We can share the report physically. So I can click on share report. I can copy this link and open the link whenever I want. So if I wanted to just send this link to the prospect just like this, I can totally do that. But first, let's go through every that they're going to be seeing and everything that you want to point out in order to sell this prospect so you can get them as a client. So under the overall score, we have the business details, which is 50%. You can see exactly what the issues are right here. So the first thing that they point out is the chat widget on the website. There is no chat widget. That is a huge sign that they could become a perfect candidate for you because it's so easy for us to put chat widgets on websites. We do it all the time. It also shows under here, they do not have a WordPress site. So you can also sell them a WordPress site if that is what you want to do. We have text enabled business number. This was checkmarked because they detected that there is a listed phone number for text message capabilities. So this is interesting because you don't really see this too often, but there's still probably something we can do. Then down here we have review replies. Are they replying to their reviews? Well, they only had like two reviews. So even if they do reply, they're not getting enough reviews to make a difference. Now let's scroll down a little bit more. They have a 0% on techno stack analysis. This means they have no Google tag manager, no Facebook pixel, no Google ads, no Google ads pixel, no Google analytics pixel. So these are a little bit more advanced features, but it is important to know that they don't have any of them. This means that their marketing is probably not going so well. Then if we scroll down here, we've got a 100% on Google business profile. This is actually good because it's one of those things that's kind of annoying to do for a client in the beginning is set up their Google, my business profile. I mean, you need to know everything about them, all their personal information about their business, especially in the beginning with the setup, their photos, all these things take a long time. So I do like it when they have a business profile already done. So that means we can scroll down to listings where they only have a 9%. Now listings to me is not that big of a deal. Obviously they don't need to be on that many listings. MapQuest, City Squares, 
show me local and all these different pages. I mean, I could just keep clicking next. A coupons, yellow pages, iGlobal. So this is basically just getting them on multiple listings to boost their search engine optimization. I think it matters, but it didn't do a lot for my clients. I think the most important thing is where you're prospecting. In Scottsdale and Phoenix, yes, this might actually be a really good thing to push because you have so many competitors that being listed on all these different platforms could help you a lot. But if you happen to be in a population of under 200,000 or even under 500,000, I would actually suggest to maybe avoid the listings for right now. It's just going to overcomplicate the process. Next, we have the review summary where we have 100%. But once again, it is only for two reviews. So that is not too impressive for us. Then we can scroll down. You can see an example of the reviews. Website performance, it's still gathering information. Then we have SEO analysis. We have a 5%. So terrible search engine optimization. They are not at the top of Google. They're actually very far back. Remember, we had to go through a few different pages just in landscaping alone. So let's scroll down and find out why. Obviously, one of the first things that we notice when looking up search engine optimization is the reviews. So getting them a lot more reviews is going to be the number one priority on the list, but also making sure people can easily communicate with them and find them when they see the website. So that's going to be the fun part for me going through the website itself and kind of seeing what this thing looks like. So once you back out of there under the all accounts section, you can still see George's landscaping right here where I can just click this button and go straight to the website. Okay, guys, it actually didn't work. I had to physically type in George's landscaping because the website said it didn't even exist. So let's see if it works right here. I found their Google My Business profile. I'm going to click on website. And as you can see, no, it doesn't work. This website is not active. I would definitely call this prospect and find out why their website is not working, why they're not using a website. Maybe they're out of business. Who knows? But if their website isn't working and they're still in business, this is a perfect prospect. It's such an easy way to cold call them because now you can say, hey, I tried to get on your website to look at a couple things, but it's not working. It's not loading. I don't know how to get there. They're going to tell you, oh, our website's down. It's not working right now. And then you can go in and pitch them and tell them you're going to give them a free website. Say you're going to do it all for free. I know that sounds crazy, but trust me, it works. Just say, hey, I don't want you to have no website at all. Let's get you set up. I'll actually build the entire website for free. And then that can lead into you talking about all the other things that you can add on. And of course, those are going to cost money. And for them to run the website and keep it going, that's also going to cost money per month. Maybe you can get them on a $97 a month plan or a $297, or you can lead your way into the AI employee, which is what we're going to talk about next. So there you go. That's how you use the Go High Level Prospecting tool and exactly how I personally would have dealt with George's landscaping. Now we're going to talk about how I prospect and how I would do this if I didn't have the prospecting tool. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Google and I'm going to type in landscaping near me. Now we're going to scroll down for a little bit. This is actually my company right here. We're sponsored because I'm running Google ads. Don't worry. I'm going to break all that down for you too. I'm going to make videos on absolutely everything, including Google local service ads, regular Google ads, Facebook ads, the cool tips and tricks that I've learned over the years by running my landscaping company. But let's scroll down a little bit more and there we go. These are all sponsored. So I'm going to skip them. A sponsor just means they're running ads. So that's the only reason they're at the top of the list right now. This guy, Diamond Stone and Synthetic Grass would probably be at the top of the list anyway, because he has 296 five-star reviews, but skipping that, let's keep scrolling. This one's also sponsored, Think Green. They have 24 reviews at a 4.4. That's not super great. I think if we got them 25 more five-star reviews, this would go up a lot, but let's keep on going. We can find someone better. Maybe preferred Deer Valley Landscaping. This could be a good option, but I'm going to click on more businesses right here. But as we scroll down, I'm going to try to find someone under five-star reviews. This one right here, Chop Chop Landscaping has one one-star review. Now, I don't think this is even in business anymore, but let me click and see what happens. I mean, their entire website kind of looks AI generated. I don't think any of these are their actual photos. And why do they only have one review and it's one star? I personally would call them just to see if they're real because there's no way their SEO is doing well with a one one-star review. It even says down here, our reviews, 23 votes with a 4.69. Yeah, not on Google, it's not. So this could also be a very good prospect, but I'm gonna skip it for now because it's not a good example to use. All right, guys, I found someone called Colorworks Landscaping. They don't have a lot of five-star reviews. I think they have about eight. So this could be really good if you're trying to help them get reviews. And I noticed they have a little chat widget down here at the bottom left. It's powered by a company called Chatling. So we can actually click on that. Interesting. So this is an AI chatbot. They do have an AI chatbot already on their website. So this probably would not be the best to prospect if you're a beginner. Maybe if you're more advanced and you can see different things that they desperately need. Or if you think their AI chatbot isn't very good. I'm talking to a lot of beginners here. So I would not go for these guys either. All right, guys, here's one called Lovely's Landscaping. They've got some pretty pretty good photos in here, but they don't have a website. And if they do, it's definitely not connected to their Google My Business presence. So you could actually call them and ask them why they don't have a website. You wanted to look at more photos of their work. You can kind of lean into pretending that you're like a customer. Maybe you're interested in their services and that can help them think like, oh, wait, maybe. 
You should have a website, all my photos and videos of all our work. Maybe I do need a form. Maybe I do need AI chat widget. That's something I would do with Lovely's landscaping. But don't worry, I'm going to find an exact example of someone who already has a website so I can show you how to fix it. All right, let's go to Phoenix Landscaping and Pools. I'm going to click on website. All right, so right out the gate, this website's not that great. It could be done way better instead of a go high level template. I don't love the color scheme. It's just not very professional. Obviously, this is their form. It's built into the page. It's not like a pop-up form. I prefer pop-up forms a lot better. Let's see what happens when you click on work with us. Okay, it just takes you to another form. Not a huge fan of this in general. I also noticed that there is no chat widget. So it is missing an easy access point for you to chat with the customer right out the gate. This would be a perfect example of someone who could use AI chat widget. They could also use AI voice because they have a call us button right here. They're used to getting customers to just call them straight from Google or straight from their website. So for this client specifically, we already know their website could be improved. Their color scheme's not great. Their logo's not great, even though they're probably not gonna change it. People do not like changing their logos, especially after they're established. They need a better ranking on Google. They need more five-star reviews. They need a chat widget and they need AI employee if they want to go into the AI space. So now how do we reach out to them and what do we do when we reach out to them? So the first thing you can do, of course, is just call them and tell them everything that I just said. It's a very straightforward approach. I know a lot of people don't like doing that. It can be annoying. It can be scary, but it is one of the most direct and easiest ways to approach someone. You could also do a physical walk-in if they have a headquarters and have a building that you go to, but there are a lot of landscaping companies that actually don't. However, I can assure you they are active on Facebook. So you can message them on Facebook, Instagram, any type of social media. That is personally what I like to do the best. It's the least invasive. It's really easy. It's simple. And you can send them videos just like I'm doing right now, breaking down their entire website and what you could do for them. You could even make a custom website for them and send them that custom website. All you have to do is change the logo at the top and you could do this for tons of different landscaping companies. Now, the big thing that we really want to push is the AI agent. We want to push that conversation AI bot. I think that's going to be the future. It is going to be the future, honestly. And so many different agencies are going to start pushing AI agents. So as long as you can get your setup in as many accounts as possible, you're good. You're fine. You're going to get paid. So it is really important to kind of lead with the AI agent. Let these companies and these prospects know that this is where the future is headed and you don't want to watch them get left behind. This is a fear tactic and yes, it does work. And if you're wondering exactly how to create the AI agent or use it as a prospecting tool for you, I made a video exactly on this topic with Declan O'Reilly, who is the GHL wizard on YouTube, which comes with a free snapshot. Any of you guys can get it and use it and go straight into prospecting mode. So in this video, I'm not going to break down the AI agent. It would also take way too long, but I already filmed this video with Declan, so it'll be out before for this video or one after this video. Either way, you're going to see all of this in the same time frame. I'm also going to make a course on AI employee, AI voice, everything AI based for go high level. So you're going to know exactly what to do when scaling your AI agency. And you guys know me, it's going to be simple. It's going to be easy. I'm not going to overcomplicate any of this. We're going to get straight to the point. I'm going to show you exactly what to do. But either way, now you know how to prospect correctly. It is not difficult by any means. There is a simplicity behind it. It's going through the checklist and looking at the reviews, looking at their SEO, looking at their website, looking if they have a chat widget. The list is not very long, but once you have that list down and understand how to analyze a website and analyze a business, then prospecting becomes so much easier because you know exactly what they need. Sales and marketing become a lot easier too because of that exact reason. So hopefully that helps. There are so many different ways to get customers, so many ways to get clients. I'm telling you guys, it can truly be one of the easiest aspects of your business is getting clients. You just have to put yourself in those positions in order to do it. If you guys are new to my channel and new to go high level, then first off, thank you for sticking around. And second, check the link in the description below where you can get all of these courses completely free. Yes, you heard that right. Completely free. My software agency course, which is a complete guide to starting your software agency. My business 101 course, which shows you how to structure and scale your business. This can be for any type of business, even outside of agencies. And then of course, my lead gen and onboarding course, which is a white labeled snapshot that you can take and give to your clients and show them exactly how to set up their accounts. It's just videos of me without my face, without my logo. And I'm breaking everything down in these simple way possible all for your clients completely white labeled all you have to do is be my affiliate so check my link in the description below you can also upgrade with me if you're on the 97 or 297 plan and want to upgrade or you can become my ai affiliate by using my ai referral code dom baptist once again everything you need to know is in the description below and if you do become my affiliate reach out to me on instagram i will message back it will always be me i don't have any assistance if you have any personal questions that you want to ask me directly then just reach out on instagram shoot me a dm my instagram is dom baptist as well and let's get you guys up and running but anyway thank Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned a little bit more about prospecting. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.